The third and final type of cloud model you need to know about for the exam is the hybrid cloud model. This model has aspects of both a public cloud setup and a private cloud setup. Here's an example. You could have an on-premises server that can host virtual machines. And within those virtual machines, one can be an Active Directory server. Perhaps you prefer to keep directory services in a private cloud. But because this bookstore is small, we don't have the capability to host a database large enough to store all the book and customer information necessary. So for that, we turn to a public cloud, like, ta-da, Azure. There may be some other situations to where information needs to be stored in a private cloud for regulatory reasons. Otherwise, size, ease of management, and the desire for a consumption-based model are all factors for determining which pieces of an infrastructure are in a public cloud and which ones are in a private cloud. Now, if you're thinking, are many clouds hybrid? Sure, especially if you are transitioning pieces from a private cloud to a public cloud. Technically, at this point, you have a hybrid cloud. We covered earlier the technical knowledge required to run a public cloud, which isn't much, and a private cloud, which is a lot. For a hybrid cloud, the most important technical knowledge point is being able to make sure that pieces in each that need to operate with each other can do just that.